good morning youtube hey we are out here lake palestine got the sun about to come up here um beautiful day hardly any wind right now uh supposed to get a little windier which is going to be good because i want a little wind but um can't help keep me cool number one but uh we're out here at lake palestine fishing we're going to try to catch some uh, big old crappie slabs there's a bunch of guys out there fishing today so i know there's going to be some fishermen out here so uh you know hopefully we'll uh won't get run out of our spot we'll see what happens but uh y'all hang in with us stay tuned and we're gonna pull in some slabs i'm an american Try to find me a couple fish. Catch them is the hard part. Yeah, tell me about it. Dude, I've been sitting there watching them. Put it right in front of their nose. They just flip their middle fin at me. <laughs> so guys, at this point, I'm actually heading out to go do some fishing on uh, on timber brush piles but once I got there I set up and realized that my um, transducer pole um, has been used so many times that the handle does not work so the handle will turn but the transducer doesn't I'll explain more at the end of the video but I figured you know what this is the perfect time just go ahead and do some uh, some old-school bridge fishing all right guys so I'm using the uh, ACC crappy sticks a 6.6 .6 uh, rod just using regular old lose reel and I'm doing my normal heavy weight I did put a swivel on here with a lead for uh, this thing so guys we're just gonna kind of troll the bridges here see what happens guys finally laid in the one here not a bad little fish a yellow hand tie yellow and white all right one down let's try it again not keep them today crappy all right guys number two good size it's again yellow and black or yellow and white hand tie so guys let me show you my setup real quick so what I'm doing I'm just using a regular old slip weight on this one I do have a uh, swivel so I can change out quickly. I got a leader with a hand tie. It's with a big, probably uh, one eighth ounce, um, white in the back. I guess that's yellow. Just basically going out about 15 feet trolling. And uh, this big heavy weight kind of holds it down there. And then the fish bite because it's kind of just going at a, a, a normal pace so around these bridges guys there's in, in whenever you're fishing a bridge 
kind of look at any kind of construction and kind of see what you can see, use side scan, what have you, but there's a cross member down about 15 feet on these bridges here. So that's what I'm fishing alongside of, and uh, those fish just hang out, so I just drive right by them. All right, guys, so basically what I'm doing, I get my weight right above the water, and that's basically my measurement of 15, 12 to 15 feet. And start trolling. So between these three right here, I've got cross members that go all the way across. That's our main, my main part of what I'm fishing for right here, guys. Again. Got wondering how I came up with the name of Sleep at the Reels because of this right here. I keep missing fish while I'm trolling. So guys, basically I got my trolling motor set to four, level four. I've got enough wind coming back that it, it probably takes me to about five. So on the way back, coming into the or coming with the wind, I simply hit the trolling motor, get some speed, and then I'll use it for direction and let the wind push me. Other than that, right now I'm going against the wind, so I'll be on the trolling motor the entire time. Didn't miss him. Hey babe, hold on one second. All right guys, number three. That's a good fish right there. So guys, as you notice, I caught that, that last fish right here on this first pylon, which sometimes they get out here. Um, doesn't always happen, but most of the time you catch them inside on the cross beams, but this was right here. Caught him at the very end. Good fish. Look at that. Woo! Number four. Man, there's something fun about doing this, guys. I, I just can't explain it, but man, it's awesome. But the thing is, this is usually not a color I use. I'm normally using a different color. I just had this one tied already, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And it's working well. <laughs> that was a little one. Alright guys, got another little bitty one here. Had just lost one and got him.
How's it going? You need some help? You need some help? You good? Need some help? My weep hole my semi plugged up. A what? I'm not sure my weep hole my semi plugged up. Uh oh. Are you losing power in it or what? Huh? Are you, did you lose power in it? No, it never shut down, but the horn come on. Steady, steady horn. Hmm. Anything with that? The TDC's off. Okay. Game. I messed with it out there a while ago. It's about 60. Okay. All right. Um, noise reduction. Um, we've got a, I've got a YouTube channel called Asleep at the Reel. If you ever get a chance, go on there and I've got some live scope, how to set it up, because I can usually get to the point where I see my line going down. Really? Now, that's when I'm using a heavier line. So I use 12 pound on everything, uh, 10 to 12 pound. Yeah. Uh, just that way I can pull up. If I get stuck in a stump, I can pull it out 90% of the time. But uh, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff on, on how, to, how to set your settings, how to identify which kind of fish are on there. Um, because last thing you want to be doing is trying to catch a bunch of catfish when you're, or catching a bunch of catfish when you're uh, crappie fishing. Caught out there with two catfish. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, my name's Chris. If you need some help, man, just right, let me know. And check out that channel and you can watch some of the YouTube stuff I do, or the live scope might help you with your settings. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, good luck. If you need something, let me know. Hey guys, well, I'm gonna call it a day here. Uh, caught, I guess, seven fish in all at the bridge. Uh, didn't show all of them because my camera did go off at one point. But uh, yeah, you know what? It's 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 days like this that you just can't help. It happens. So I gotta go back work on my transducer pole. Uh, so basically, my my top joint has come loose. So I've got to just pull it out, glue it back. Um, so whenever I'm, I'm uh, moving my handle the handle moves but the transducer pole doesn't always move so um, it's not allowing me to, to aim my live scope so anyway we fished all electronics or without electronics today at the bridge and uh, did you know fairly well considering I was only there for an hour and uh, then I stopped and helped try to help a guy out with his boat too so um, that took some time but uh, yeah you know what it happens this way guys Hope you uh, hope you don't mind watching that. They're not all gonna be exact, uh, just full of catches, but uh, that's just part of life, I guess. So I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, if you would like, subscribe, and uh, I'm gonna be start doing some more uh, live scope. I'm gonna try to do it a different direction, but I just could not get that to work today. Uh, well, the live scope wasn't working, but uh, I got to build a mount for it. So uh, I'm gonna basically just show my screen that way I can keep it on there the whole time um, the phone just gets too much stuff but anyway enough of that we'll talk about it later guys uh, thanks again for being part of the channel if you would like subscribe and uh, we'll catch y'all next week <laughs>